stories on Magic the Gathering Cards, Part 1. Here we have the Bargart Brute, and they are getting chased in Gather the Pack, and they get killed in Eye of Light Massacre. Follow me for more Magic the Gathering content, and check me out on YouTube. Stories on Magic the Gathering Cards, Part 2. Those who serve on Amonkhet when it was peaceful, and dutiful servants who keep serving after their home disappears. Magic the Gathering Combos, Part 1. Pair Niv Mizzet with Curiosity or Ophidiani. Whenever you draw a card, deals one damage. Whenever you deal damage, draw a card. And back and forth at least, you know, this many times to an opponent and commander. Link in the bio. Stories on Magic the Gathering Cards, Part 3. Proud Wild Bonder, his little guy grows up into uh, this massive thing. Yeah, one day I woke up and knew I had nothing left to teach her, so now I ride on her shoulders and follow her where she leads. Link in the bio. Stories on Magic the Gathering Cards, Part 4. Battle Bond had a ton of this, but they had a couple of, uh, you know, different art cards for each pair of these creatures. And they're, uh, they're pretty cool, you know? And there's a whole bunch of them throughout the whole set. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this one. But here we go. Emrakul the Aeon's Torn can be killed by 15 squirrels. Ha 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 ha, it's so funny. It's not funny anymore, guys. It's really not that funny anymore. Emrakul the Aeon's Torn came out in Rise of the Eldrazi 10, almost 11 years ago. It's like bringing back an old meme from 10 years ago. Like, it's not that funny anymore. Literally any 15 of these could kill Emrakul. Look, and these ones even have flying. So, ugh, you don't even have to go through a loophole of giving the squirrels flying. Like, these ones just have flying. A cat bird, that's pretty funny. I think that's funnier than the squirrels. Look, either one of these could kill this, too. These just have Death Touch. This has this is a spider with Reach in Death Touch, so you don't even have to go through the loophole of giving that flying. What I'm trying to say is, stop using this stupid meme. It's so annoying. Stories on Magic the Gathering Cards, Part 5. Sometimes Wizards of the Coast will take a one piece of art and make it into two different cards. As you can see, the kind of horizon kind of combines together on Night of Malice and Night of Grace. Link in the bio. Stories on Magic the Gathering Cards, Part 6. And sometimes Wizards will take an old art from a set and then make it new in the next set. See, now he's getting chased by dragons. Khan's a Tarkir, dragons a Tarkir. Link in the bio. Stories of the Magic the Gathering Cards, Part 7. The Baylath's instincts boiled, his muscles pulled taut, and its razor spines bristled, its turn to face. <gasps> Runt Meepling. Oh, look how cute he is. Oh, no, now he's really big. Okay, the Meepling's gonna kill you, dude. More in the bio. Stories on Magic the Gathering Cards, Part 8. Ravnica Gateway Plaza, and Nicol Bolas destroys it, and then Mana Confluence. They start to build it back together, right? For more Magic content, check my link in the bio and my YouTube channel. Things that don't make sense in Magic the Gathering, Part 1. There's an absolutely massive Kraken that makes 1-1 one, one tentacles, but this insect can straight up kill this giant tentacle. Weird, huh? J Crab Pokemon, you are correct. Our lovely one one is destroyed by whelming wave. Or not yeah, essentially destroyed by both of these sea things. Thanks for pointing that out. That was very, very weird and something I never thought of. Why yes, I can certainly try to do Skitherix. Skitherix or Skittles as players know him is a very powerful dragon. He's legendary, um, but not because he plays any real part in the story, uh, but because of his power level. We think he's got something to do with Shieldred. He's briefly mentioned in the story, but not really um, by name. Basically, he well, it says someone is cornered by a dragon and it cries tears of the the the, the mirrorless besieged oil. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Anyway, he's corrupted. You can see his wings right here bear similarities. This is to this dragon, who uh, he's probably something like this. He's, I call this the fire armpit dragon. Um, but yeah, this is what probably what Skitherix looked like before he got corrupted. Hopefully that answers kind of the question. Um, yeah, there's really not much lore for him, but other than that, yeah, more magic content. Link in description. Do you want to see a misprinted card that Wizards of the Coast printed? Corpse Knight from M20. Doesn't look doesn't look bad, right? They came out with this card to introduce the actual one. It's supposed to be a 2-2, but they printed it as a 3-3. 
and they gave you a card on one of the packs that I got, this Brawl deck. It includes a misprinted version of the Core Set 2020 card Corpse Knight. Its intended power and toughness is 2-2. So uh, if you have a Corpse Knight that's a 2-3, that is wrong. It is a 2-2. Take a marker, <laughs> just write a 2. Stories of Magic the Gathering Cards, Part 9. Am and Ket had a lot of secrets, and here's one of them. Am and Ket had five trials, and once you beat them, you got a cartouche. And there's one represented for each color. Hard to tell in a booster pack. Stories of Magic the Gathering Cards, Part 10. In Avacyn Restored, there was a scroll of Avacyn, and there was a scroll of Grizzlebrand, who was, you know, you know, kind of got a good versus evil vibe going here. More magic content, link in the bio. Stories of Magic the Gathering Cards, Part uh, 11. This one's actually my favorite, so I'm going to take more time on this one. Original Innistrad, make a wish. In Gavany, wishing is taken as a sign of weakness, yet the wells usually brim with silver. This little girl, with her teddy bear, has sent a coin down this well to make a wish. And then, five years later, in Shadows over Innistrad, we've got Grapple with the Past. Amarokul does not grant wishes. Desire simply aligned to her will. Here's the little girl, as an Eldrazi, retrieving her bear that fell down a well. Kind of neat, the callback. Five years later, in a supplemental set. Very cool. Like I say, it's my favorite one. And, uh, yeah. More magic content, link in the bio. Check out my YouTube channel. Stories on Magic the Gathering Cards, Part 12, with Crazy Bedhead. When Jace gets to Exilon, he kind of falls and gets amnesia, and he kind of just wanders forever, as represented on its lands. This Exilon land cycle features Jace. You can see him march, tr marching and trudging around. You know, there he is in the swamp. You probably didn't notice this, did you? <laughs> there he is there. And there he is up on the trees. So, kind of a cool land cycle. I really like it because it shows the story as well as the beautiful landscapes on Exilon. More Magic the Gathering content link in the bio. Check out my YouTube channel. I do lots of deck texts and stuff like that. So, hope you like it. Do you want to see my only misprinted card? It's really not even misprinted. It's just like the border is too thick on the top and less thick on the bottom. It's just miscut, I guess. Pretty interesting. Stories on Magic the Gathering cards, part 13. Wizards will sometimes print stuff like this. Alpha Mirror and Omega Mirror. Alpha and Omega. First to the charge, first to fight. Last to charge, last to fall. Pretty interesting. Link in the bio. Stories on Magic the Gathering cards, part 14. During the Hour of Revelation, all five Planeswalkers were defeated from the Gatewatch. The Gatewatch at the time. More magic, link in the bio. Stories of Magic the Gathering cards, part 15. In Theros Beyond Death, each of the main gods got an omen. Each of them enchantments, each of them doing something that the colors, you know, well known for. Each of them kind of represent the, I don't know, kind of what the god represents, and uh, you can read that in the oracle text. I think they're pretty neat, and uh, they kind of show off uh, the god's personalities a little bit if you read them. But uh, yeah, more magic, link in the bio. Stories of Magic the Gathering Cards, part 16. This one's going to take a minute. Amonkhet saw each of the lands with the corresponding gods' monuments in them. You know, Ronus and Hazaret and Bantu and Kefnet and the cat one. <laughs> but what you may not have known is in the next set, Hour of the Revelation, that each of them got a different angle and they turned into deserts all around the monuments. So you can kind of see what happens to each of the lands at the Hour of Revelation. Pretty neat. It's kind of stuff you don't really pick up from set to set, especially like during drafts and stuff. But uh, yeah, more magic, link in the bio. Stories on Magic the Gathering Cards, part 17. Some of the lands from Dominaria feature the Weatherlight. It's flying through the air there, right? 
like my pointer stick. But yeah, kind of just flying throughout down my area, just having a good time, just a nice reintroduction to the plane. I love the Dominaria set, and I love this cycle of lands because it shows such a deep, rich history from the massive storyline that Magic has, and you can see the Weatherlight, which is an awesome ship, and uh, the crew in there, so anyway, more Magic, link in the bio. Storage of Magic the Gathering Cards, part 18. In Shadows of Innistrad, Nahiri placed all of these cryptoliths all over the plane so that she could summon Speak of the Devil Emrakul. So each of these kind of funneled the mana, which Eldrazi feed on, and drew it closer to Innistrad. And each of the lands had them. At least the lands on this cycle. Anyway, more magic in the, in the bio. Check out my YouTube channel. <laughs>